So for the uninitiated, what is Node.js? Node.js is a programming environment, much like Java or PHP um, or C or something like that. Um, but it's server-side JavaScript. So it's JavaScript um, on a server or on a device, maybe something like a, an HP Pre, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's specifically optimized to be good at the kind of applications that people build for the internet. So it's, it's very oriented around communication and providing um, a framework for people to write applications that um, do communication, which is most of the, the kind of applications that people are building for internet sites, um, for websites, you know, and for the kind of mobile applications that people want to build nowadays. So why do you think it's caught on? I think one of the primary reasons is people have much more uh, demanding applications. Mm. Um, people have much more demanding needs. There are more users. And people want to cope with that kind of demand without buying more servers, without spending more um, on infrastructure and, and having a harder programming language. Mm -hmm. And having that easy ability to, to scale and meet all of those demands in a really familiar language like JavaScript has been very attractive to people. Sure. So what does running JavaScript outside of the browser, what does that allow? Well, I think one of the things that we found is that people are really familiar with JavaScript. Mm -hmm. um, out of all of the programming languages that people use to build websites and internet sites, um, there's an awful lot of uh, uniformity about JavaScript because it's the only language that's available in web browsers. So taking that, um, we can really give people an opportunity to build something in a language that they're familiar with, but it scales very well. Mm -hmm. it, it's very performant. Um, and that's something that's been really unique. So the last question I had for you, and it's sort of broadening this a little bit. Are you surprised at all at the ascendance of JavaScript? Are you, are you surprised at where it is right now? I don't think I'm at all surprised about where JavaScript is right now. I think at some point it became clear that JavaScript was going to be the, the language of the web. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, it, it became the de facto standard that everybody was using, and the web has kind of carried that success. The web has carried that uh, momentum forward, um, and once people are familiar with something, once, once we have a lot of people that uh, use JavaScript and use it every day, it's natural that people want to use it in other places. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because it has properties that make it ideal for these other tests. It makes it, makes it ideal to program these high-performance servers. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate thank you. it.